Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snedis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our clinical biochemistry playlist. In previous videos, we talked about sorbitol and cataracts. We talked about the presence of reducing sugars in the urine. Then we talked about lactose intolerance, galactosemia, and the glycogen storage diseases. We talked about six of them in detail. Then we started talking about the islet cell tumors. We talked about insulinoma glucagonoma, somatostatinoma, and today it's time for VIPoma. If it ends in oma, it's a tumor. Insulinoma is a tumor that secretes too much insulin. Glucagonoma is a tumor that secretes too much glucagon. Somatostatinoma secretes too much somatostatin, and VIPoma secretes too much VIP. What does that mean? Very important person? Shut up. It means vasoactive intestinal peptide. It's active on vessels and on the intestinal wall. And if something is active on the intestinal wall, and if the tumor is going to secrete too much of it, of course, you know, we'll have more motility, which means more diarrhea. Please watch the videos in this clinical biochemistry playlist in order. And please refer to my video called GI hormones where we talked about gastrin, secretin, CCK, somatostatin, VIP, and motilin. Recall that digestion involves mechanical and chemical digestion. Mechanical means motility, and chemical means secretions. Secretions of what? Of enzymes and hormones. So in order for me to digest and absorb, I need motility and secretion. Secretion of what? Of gastrointestinal enzymes and hormones. Enzymes are released from exocrine glands that have ducts into nearby structures. But endocrine hormones are released from ductless glands into distant locations via the bloodstream. VIP is an endocrine hormone. Most of your gastrointestinal hormones are released by the upper part of the small intestine and sometimes by the stomach. That's why the gastrointestinal hormones are collectively known as enterogastrone. Enter means intestine, gastro means stomach. The cells that release the gastrointestinal hormones are also known as APUD cells. Amine, precursor, uptake, and decarboxylation. All of these are your gastrointestinal hormones. All of them hate the stomach, except gastrin. Gastrin is probably the only one that is pro-stomach motility and secretion. All the other hormones are anti-motility and anti-secretion of the stomach, for the most part. Now let's talk about VIP, vasoactive intestinal peptide. It's released from the upper part of small intestine. It's called vasoactive, so it acts upon blood vessels. It's called intestinal, so it acts on your intestine. What does it do? It relaxes the smooth muscles in the blood vessels, causing vasodilation, and in the stomach, inhibiting the motility and the secretion of the stomach. But when it comes to the intestine, it has another function. It boosts the secretions of the intestine, secretions full of water and electrolytes. And that's why if I have a tumor secreting too much VIP, what do you think is going to happen? I will secrete too much water and electrolytes from my intestine and I will have secretory diarrhea. These are the islet cell tumors, insulinoma, glucagonoma, somatostatinoma, gastrinoma, and don't forget today's topic, VIPoma. Vipoma. If I have this malignant tumor, i.e. cancer, it secretes what? Too much VIP. Too much vasoactive intestinal peptide, which will boost the secretions of the intestine, but inhibits motility and secretion of the stomach. When you boost the secretions of the intestine by increasing peristalsis as well, you cause secretory diarrhea. When I have secretory diarrhea, what's going to happen? Well, diarrhea means you will lose lots of fluid and you will lose electrolytes. You will lose potassium and develop hypokalemia. You will lose bicarbonate in the stool and develop what? When the base goes down, you become acidic. You develop metabolic acidosis with a normal anion gap. Recall that one of the causes of nagma is diarrhea. What else? I lost tons of fluid in the stool. When you lose volume, you become volume depleted. Your extracellular fluid volume goes down. Anytime this happens, anytime you become hypovolemic, aldosterone gets mad. It gets triggered because aldosterone's job is to reabsorb salt and water 
to try to replenish your fluids. But don't forget that aldosterone will dump the potassium in the urine, which means you get a worse kind of hypokalemia. So you have hypokalemia because of two causes. Number one, you're losing potassium in the stool. Number two, you're losing potassium in the urine. Hypokalemia is not good for your heart, as you know, because if I have a calcium problem, I get cardiac issues like arrhythmias. In addition, VIP inhibits gastric motility and secretion, leading to no secretion of hydrochloric acid. No hydrochloric acid, A, no chlorohydria, no hydrochloric acid. Do you think you'll be able to digest properly, especially proteins? Probably not. Do you think you'll be able to cleanse your food? Probably not. Do you think you'll be able to absorb the iron? Probably not, because iron absorption required hydrochloric acid to convert the ferric iron into ferrous iron, to convert the Fe3 plus into Fe2 plus, because only Fe2 can go into the intestinal blood. Only Fe2 can be absorbed. And when you cannot absorb your iron, you're vulnerable to iron deficiency anemia. How can I diagnose this tumor? History and physical exam, lots of labs for fluids and electrolytes, and then you can visualize the tumor with good old ultrasound, CT scan of the abdomen, or MRI. And the most accurate is always a biopsy. How can we manage this tumor? As with any tumor that secretes a lot and the secretion causes symptoms, you can remove the tumor. And don't forget, you can give octreotide, which is a somatostatin analog, which we discussed in the last video. Somatostatin inhibits everything. It's a universal inhibitor. So it will inhibit the release of VIP. Do you want to learn about esophageal cancer, stomach cancer, colon cancer, hepatocellular carcinoma, renal cell carcinoma, urothelial carcinoma of the urinary bladder, and much more? Then download my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionalist.com. VIPoma causes NAGMA, normal anion gap metabolic acidosis. If you want to learn about the difference between NAGMA and HAGMA, the difference between acidosis and alkalosis, compensated versus uncompensated, anion gap versus a smaller gap, base excess versus base deficit, and much more, download my acid base imbalance course at medicosisperfectionalist.com. If you do not want to download my courses but would rather watch them right here on YouTube, then click the join button and choose the highest tier to gain instant access to more than 300 premium videos right now. Please subscribe, hit the bell, support my channel here or here, go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.